And hello everybody, welcome back to a new video here in Minecraft. It's going to be a video on how to do a tree farm, something I've been promising to do, and now a chimney done one kind of inspired me to do one myself. So, um, first thing I do is to decide first how many trees you're going to make and what location. So I'm going to make a tree farm right here, because this is a big flat open area. Um, I did, I downloaded a map called Flatgrass, which is for, I use for prototyping and building other odds and ends and things. And, how they look and stuff. So I'm going to do a, a farm right here, starting with one torch to mark it. Then you want to decide, okay, how many trees do I do this? I mean, because how many trees? Well, I'm going to do four tree farm, four trees and a tree farm to as a, just a, the demonstration. Mine at, on the server is like 64 trees, so it's a lot bigger. <laughs> so then you want to pick it, find some trees, start massaging them. Something that doesn't have durability to get the saplings out of it. Like that, and of course, you keep doing that and take all the saplings you need. In this case, I need four. I got 11, that's more than enough. So, I'll start spacing this out. Now, spacing is important, so I'm going to show you the spacing in right now on the screen. And to magic editing, there it is. Okay. And, uh, okay, let's go back to editing now, to doing this. Um, so, dark with the first with a space of five from the edge of the first tree center. Two, three, four, five. Then one, two, three, four, six, seven. Second tree center. Make sure I got that right. Didn't look right. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay, that's right. One, two, three, four. Next edge. One, two, three, four, five. Right. First tree center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Second tree center. One, two, three, four, five. Next edge. One, two, four, five. Should line up with that one. Yeah, it does. That's the first tree center. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, next tree center. And one, two, Five. We'll make the outer edge. One, two, three, four, five. First tree center. And oops, this way. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Next tree center. And then lastly, bingo. And that's the whole thing uh, defined as the, as the area we need to make the tree farm in. Tree farm will be in the very middle of this, so let's get to uh, crack in here. So now we take our tree center markers. We're using torches for as the tree center markers, and then we go out and start putting down torches. Oops, uh, no, it's not. But torches based on these here. So we torch right here to right here, where this one and this one intersect okay right and right here so that's where your four trees will be are these four torches now what you want to do is start digging this out In a normal world, you'd be actually doing a lot more, be prepped. You'd actually dig this out level, so the tree farm got a nice level ground. I mean, you could build a tree farm on a hillside, but it's a bit more of a pain in the ass to um, harvest it. Oops. And like Jimmy Swift, I do misplace blocks occasionally. Okay. Now this here, um, digging out around the each tree, will be for a water channel. Now, and again, definitely you can do without a water channel if you don't really want a water channel. But it makes the trees grow faster, so if you want trees to grow quicker, you know, stay in the area of the tree farm, otherwise it won't grow for crap, um, and put a ring of water on it. So, now let's go make an infinite spring, and think you know how to do that, I think. If not, I'll show you right over here. Take, I think I got a 2x4 
uh, four by one, uh, two by two by one area here. Get a couple buckets of water. Get this out of the way here. This out of the way here. Oops. Okay. One bucket there. Another bucket in the opposite corner, and it comes still. Now you can dip water out all you want, all day long, and it won't matter. You have water there forever. Now you want to take a bucket in each corner, so I should have another two more buckets, shouldn't I? That'll probably help. Okay, put this dirt aside. And it's the magic of uh, a mod, too many items. I'm going to go through here, find me two more empty buckets. Like so. And it's getting night, isn't it? Oh, I hate that. Okay. So get these down real quick here. Be right back, folks. Going to take this daytime. Let's get back to work here. Fill up your four buckets here. And go back to filling these holes in. Okay. Now, once you get the um, ring filled up, you can actually use it to fill next your buckets again because it'd be an infinite spring, no movement. Like so. Now, oops, derp. There we go. Now, we've got the water areas filled in here. Next step will be to get rid of these buckets. They don't need them anymore. And let's start putting in um, some of the secrets here. Let me show you some interesting little secret here. If you uh, tree farming, um, you, if you don't put anything above the tree, it'll grow any particular tree it wants, including those big multi-branch monsters that are a pain in the ass to harvest. You want to prevent that? Well, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight above. And out over where the sapling is going to be. If I have my keyboard keys here again. Uh, put a glass block. Eight spaces above. That'll force the tree to grow only a single branch. And now that tree will only grow single branch trees can't grow any higher than that. That's the secret to my tree farming is to give me so get big it so I can harvest quickly, harvest efficiently, not have to sit there and try picking out a whole big multi-branch tree which takes forever. I get to all the leaves and everything so put glass blocks. Like so. So I got one, two. So. And the glass will let the sunlight come through, so. Don't worry, we'll be doing something about this water here, so in a minute. Okay, oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. Hate that when it skips. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, looks right. Yeah, okay. My experience, it has to be at least eight, if not a little bit bigger. Otherwise, the trees don't have a hard time growing. They might grow eventually, but they have a hard time doing it. So let's put in the saplings now. Take out the torches. OK, 
Okay, now. Sapling. 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 Oops, wrong place. Hmm. I'll deal with that in a little bit. Okay, now. I guess this was at one time an Arctic region, but then they leveled it out and made it not Arctic. Oh well, anyways, next step. Now, you won't be you know jumping in the water and be a pain in the ass having to um, get go chasing after the saplings and stuff and when they fall into the water and shit like that. So what I do is I drop a block there, take some half blocks. And the half block will float over the water, so it won't displace it. But it'll block anything from falling in, so... Like so. So, and lastly, over here... Like so. Now, last step here. So you'll have some light in your tree farm and you'll be able to see what you're, what you're farming and as well as keep mobs away. Put in some lights. Now, in a um, underground tree farm, I wouldn't bother putting the half blocks in. I'll just deal with the water splash edge, splash edge so I can get the torches closer to the sapling. Because underground tree farming, light is very, very critical. So, there you go. There's your tree farm. Let's get some bone meal here and. Um, Show you how it grows. Oops. Derp. Oops. Okay, let me get that real quick here. Now. Okay, there you go. All nice, nice, tall, straight, single branch trees. Take you no time at all to heat to grow. So this has been my little tree tutorial on how to make a tree farm. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all again later folks. Goodbye.